Next news is out of Australia. Australian Muslims call for more protection and religious discrimination bill. Um, so Australia's Islamic body has warned of increased discrimination towards Muslims um, in Australia, and they're trying to get a religious discrimination bill passed. They're saying that um, the laws, the drafts of the laws that are in this bill do not go far enough with an increasingly intolerant society. Um, so, and, and they're, they're saying in quote, there is now a growing body of evidence to support this increased intolerance towards Muslims and their beliefs and practices. Australian society has become more intolerant of Muslims and religious minorities specifically. That intolerance we submit has led to an increased level of discrimination. So um, they're saying that in Australia right now, like discrimination is just at a, on a complete rise. Um, and they want to do more to safeguard themselves. Okay, but uh, I mean, two things: is anti is the anti discrimination law in Australia too, you know, mild? Is that true? We don't know. Is it? We don't know. Um, but are uh, they so well, the, they they have been doing studies on this. I know that another godless atheist actually sent us. Um, an article discussing uh, one of the research studies show, showing that it is on the rise um, and that it is bad throughout Australia. However, uh, a lot of the research, when you actually look at the research, not just read the articles about it, um, they're taking a very tiny, tiny percentage. There's a lot of flaws in the research that's done. Um, and so I don't know. No, I, I mean, really I'm not questioning on the I'm not questioning the part. I mean, I might, I should be, but I'm not yet. I'm not right now questioning the um, the part that they're saying it's on the rise. The part that I'm questioning is that first of all, um, is more more laws the solution? Maybe the laws are already pretty good. Uh, maybe it's just the, the other things that need to be added to solving the problem like this, right? Um, and also, like maybe it's already strict enough. Like, hey, discrimination against a group of people is illegal. What else? What else do you? What else can you add to that, right? And here are the punishments, right? Maybe it's right. already where it needs to be. Um, and maybe is it? And okay, maybe they have good laws. Maybe it's not being enforced. Is it being enforced, right? So we can't just be taking a position on whether they're right or not based on just hearing this, right? Uh, maybe they're wrong. Maybe no. That they have good anti-discrimination laws and it's being enforced. But and discrimination against Muslims is still on the rise. So maybe they're completely wrong about this. But it also sounds as if I'm not sure if this is true. If there is, as if they want specific laws addressing Muslims, is that what they're requesting? Because if that's what they're requesting, then hell no, right? Because that's like that. Now you're moving into religious privilege kind of demand. Like oh, make. Like you, you just need an overall anti-discrimination law for everybody, right? Uh, you don't need to like, hey, here's one for Muslims, right? You should. I don't think that's that should be. Is that what they're asking for? Do, do well, and and we should definitely speak with another godless atheist in our chat right now, um, because they know more about this this area than uh, than we do. Right. Um, but uh, he's what, what he said in our chat so far is that they have good laws already, anti-discrimination laws already, but it's the it's the right that want exemptions from those laws. So oh wait, the the right ones, the right ones exemption from those laws. What do you mean? Um, I don't understand what that means. Yeah. Okay, can you please explain that? But anyways, I. Because we don't, uh, I mean, well, well, we see what another godless atheist has to say. I'm just saying, when you're looking at an article like this, because we are anti-Islam uh, activists, it might be tempting to take a very easy position and be like, oh, they're demanding privilege and stuff like that. No, I mean, if they, if they are actually being discriminated against, which I'm pretty sure they are, and if the laws are not good enough, or the laws are good and they're not being enforced, that's a reasonable thing to for Muslims in Australia to try to bring attention to, as long okay, as okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's saying that the the right want to discriminate based on religious beliefs, so it's the same thing that's happening by the sounds of it, like here in America. Right. How? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay, that's that's not reasonable, right? Discriminate. I mean, you could call by by discriminate if you mean call it out as nonsense uh, by attacking Islam as an ideology ridiculing it making fun of it pointing out its flaws 
if that's what they mean by discrimination, which a lot of Muslims do mean that by discrimination, then absolutely not. There shouldn't be any laws against that. And I think a lot of Muslims point to that as discrimination. That, that's not discrimination, okay? That is not discrimination. Grow up. Grow up. You know, you being offended is not people discriminating against you, okay? Um, a lot of Muslims do mean that when they say, oh, discrimination is rising. But I also know other forms of real discrimination is also rising. And when they actually bring attention to that, like, for example, if they're like, if they're being mistreated at work, if they're not being treated equally, uh, if that is, if that is happening and if, you know, and they're trying to bring it. So the best the best way to point out that of being offended is not being discriminated against is to take people seriously when they actually point to real discrimination. Right. If somebody says, hey, I lost my job because I'm a Muslim, you have to take that seriously and show that you're going to support them. So that when they say, oh, somebody insulted Muhammad, I'm discriminated against, and you call BS on that, they could, you, you, they could take you more seriously because you were defending them when they were actually being discriminated against, right? You're like, yeah, no, that, sorry, that's not discrimination, <laughs> okay? Um, you really have to defend them when they actually, and you re have to reward people and take them seriously and address it when they're actually pointing to real discrimination. So you encourage real focus on real discrimination, right? Um, and if they're actually pointing out, hey, the law is not being enforced here, you have to take that seriously, I think. Um, but let me see what the top comment is. Um, but, but yeah, my entire point was like, don't try to make it get, it's, it's the most intellectual, honest thing to do sometimes here. Like, I don't know, it depends, right? Always try to do that until you get more information. Like, how, are these Muslims right? Are they making a reasonable request? Are they paying attention to something that deserves attention? If you don't have all the details about what they're trying to do and what they're trying to say, just say like, I don't know, it depends. These are the things that it depends on, okay? Yeah, there's really no shame in saying I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Wayne is saying how, uh, this is the top comment, is saying how about integrating with your peers, uh, dubbing radicals at work, oh, dubbing the radicals at work as part of society instead of the us and them mentality well i mean okay first of all yeah i agree that a lot of muslims have this us and them mentality but it's sometimes it's you could blame muslim communities for creating us and a lot of times actually you could blame muslims for creating us and them mentality but so if you're actually being targeted and discriminated against because of a certain identity and you're responding to that then you are not actually creating the us and them mentality in those situations somebody else is doing that for you and you're just responding to it right um so we have to be like you have to look at again don't treat all muslims as an entire group of people individual you could you have to judge this individually on one muslim to another um, and also integrating with your peer. I mean, you don't, I mean, you, that shouldn't be a condition for, I mean, I do suggest people integrate, but if they don't wish to integrate, that, that doesn't mean that it's fair now to discriminate against them. I don't think not, not discriminating on people should be a condition based on whether they integrate and uh, they're integrated into society or not. Right. I think you should just not discriminate again. even if they don't listen to you and they have separate, you know, they do want to keep their practices and cultures and everything uh, and their way of life and their values. And you could be like, well, your values are horrible and you shouldn't keep them. Uh, you could point that out, but th that doesn't mean now it's fair to discriminate against them. So I don't agree with you, like uh, that. That should be the condition. But what does this mean? Dub dub in the radicals at work? Is it, is he asking them to like spy in on other like Muslims? Like is that what he's suggesting? With I don't know because if that's what you're suggesting, Muslims are not responsible for just because somebody is Muslim, they're not responsible for addressing radical muslims you know, okay so i mean yeah. i mean so dobbin is an australian slang for reporting against so right saying report against the radicals so yeah okay so i was right so no you know does that mean that uh, if somebody is a radical if somebody is a radical at my work and they're an 
atheist or something now i as an atheist have a higher responsibility than other people to to report them no we all have the equal responsibility to whatever whatever the responsibility is i don't know what the responsibility here is but just because somebody shares the same religion as you or lack of religion or the same ideology doesn't increase your responsibility to what you have to do against them Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.